standing by with the unicorn of, Unicorns of Love's Power of Evil. Thank you very much, guys. And what a way to end the week. First of all, congratulations on the win, bouncing back with that Cogmore from yesterday to today. Uh, talk to me about the matchup. What went well? What allowed you to win the game and close it out so convincingly? Well, so if you, if you survive the landing phase as Kogmore against Victor, you just outrange him with every ultimate, with every more skill point in the ultimate, you just get more range on the ultimate, which means at some point you have just so much range that Victor has no way of engaging on you, and you need two, three ultimates for him to go base, so it's really, it's really favorite for Kopma after 11, and yeah, after that, we, we let me the level 16 on bot lane, we let me like all the farm on bot, and I hit it, and I'm just calling, just wait, let me poke, and we can just win the game by just poking it out. Well, congratulations, it definitely worked today. It didn't work yesterday. So what went wrong against Fnatic in your mind and in your opinion that, you know, ended up costing you the match? Well, so yesterday it was like an assassin matchup, so it's even harder to play Kogma. You just need to survive the laning phase again. It's kind of off the same matchup as against Victor. Just the uh, kill potential in the laning phase is just very uh, higher. And we didn't really get rolling. I didn't get my 1-2 items fast enough. And Kogma is really strong in the late game, but we didn't have enough damage on our other champions. And they just got too tanky. The tanks were just unkillable at some point. All right, well, one and one on the week. Dare I say typical unicorns of love, if we think about the spring split. You guys never really found your groove in the regular season, but seem to do well in best of fives. Talk to me about the break between spring and summer and how you're planning to maybe work on some of those weaknesses. Well, so I think we improved our early game. We are not falling that far behind anymore. And we are playing way better with our scaling mid laners. So if you, if you fall too far behind with scaling mid laners, you have a huge problem in the mid game. But I think most of the times, in scrims at least, we don't really fall into that uh, hole anymore. Well, we'll have to see. It is only week one. I'm being a little bit, you know, damning. So I give you the benefit of the doubt. You talked about scaling mid laners. What about the scaling LCS? A lot of people say summer, the teams are stronger, the players are stronger. What's your opinion on the nine other teams that you're competing against for the next couple of weeks? Well, so we came into the game that Elements is as strong as Fnatic. I think in the, in the current LCS, they are like all these strong teams. So I think it's, it's going to be exciting who is going to be on the top. And our goal is to be at least in the top six for the playoffs again. Team that places second pushes Fnatic 3-2. to two. Fnatic, a team that pushed SKT 3-2. to two. Hearing you say top six, are you not aiming a little higher? You're not pushing for worlds, for finals? What about some confidence there? Well, so I'm really confident that we will hit, to, hit top six, but I will let myself surprise the next week, and if we go 5-0, I will, I will talk that, but for now, I will just stay calm, and we will see what happens. Right, I'm going to hold you to that, and everybody watching at home. Next time he gets a 5-0, and o, either score line or match line, we'll see if we can hear some more confidence. Uh, POE, congratulations. Well done on the victory, and I'm looking forward to seeing you more in the coming weeks. To wrap up week number one of the Summer Split, we're going to throw it over to the analyst desk.